What's toxic shame? It's a part of yourself that you have disowned. Okay, it's a part. It's a it's a way of disowning part of yourself. It is a negativity um, that is a judging of yourself when you think you've failed or you're not you've not lived up to a certain standard. So it's a feeling of inadequacy, uh, worthlessness, blaming of self, or taking on the blame for other people. Even the feeling of wanting to hide anger, guilt. You might feel undeserving of love and undeserving of connection and not able to feel validated or you don't feel that you have um, the right to feel validated. People who have been programmed from abuse are people who are most likely to feel this, right? Because from the re being repeatedly told that you are not worthy, that you that you're feelings are not valid, that your actions are wrong, so on and so forth. We repeatedly told that, especially as a child, uh, but even as an adult, you can have your, your self-worth broken down to where you feel a sense of shame. You feel that you own the wrong that has happened to you as if it's something that's your fault. So you might feel the feeling of letting other people down, letting yourself down, Kind of this guilty, shameful feeling that I've I've let someone else down. I've hurt. You might feel that you hurt other people's feelings a lot, or that you might have aggression that comes out of nowhere and feelings of of, of rage. Even you might have control issues with things like eating or sex or other things that you can actually uh, over exercising, under exercise. You know things with your body. So in children when they are raised with a toxic upbringing. And also, if you've been in a long-term narcissistic abusive relationship or even a short-term one that's really intense, it's a response to somebody else's disgust, disapproval, or devaluing of you that you take on as your own because you are trying to please, people please, recreate the love bombing, recreate the good, from that other person. If you don't take it on, what will happen? As a child, it's a matter of survival. It really is. As an adult, it's the trauma, and, and you're trauma bonded as a child, but as, a, but as an adult, you are, um, you're trauma bonded. And so you are going back to trying to recreate being the perfect whatever supply for this other person. And you're taking on their, their toxicity as your, as your own fault. And it just creates this, this, belief in yourself that you need to do that for the whole world, right? That nothing, nothing about you is right or perfect or good. We need to learn to create a compassionate mindset toward oneself. If you're looking at something like uh, feeling undeserving of love, connection, or validation, those are all things you can give yourself. And through giving them to yourself, you're creating new pathways in your brain. It takes time it takes like months and months of doing this. This is not, it's not like you do it twice and you get new neural. Think about how long it takes to go from completely atrophied and out of shape to a strong and healthy muscular body. It would take, it takes time, right? It's not gonna happen overnight. You gotta keep putting energy into it to solidify that neural pathway, right? And make it, make it become automatic. And it does work. I mean, anyone who's tried doing things Anyone who's learned anything new realizes that you can create new neural pathways. So, and, and we've created them in a negative. We just have to make the positive more interesting than the negative. And right now the negative emotion is pulling so hard that it's way more interesting to, to, our, to, to the parts of us that aren't like trying hard to get out of it. <laughs> Connecting with yourself through understanding, listening to what you tell yourself within the shame and validating the feelings that go around that without believing in the feelings. Does that make sense? Like I can fully validate if someone tells me I feel worthless, I can fully validate to them that I hear that they feel worthless. I am not going to agree with them that they are worthless. Does that make sense? It's like that. It's giving yourself what you've been needing. You need someone to hear you because we're not heard when we, when we've experienced something so bad that it creates this kind of shame. We often don't feel heard by anyone. Even and we feel validated in a place like this, and then we go away, and it, we have to come back to something like this to feel validated again, right? So, give what I'm giving you to yourself. Does that make sense? The validation that this is all real and it happened, and it's and it's how you feel legitimately. It's set up from 
parents. It's set up from toxic partners. It's set up from society. Society is very critical of everybody. And the reason they're critical of everybody is to sell things generally and to create control within a society. When you've had it from abuse, it can be the way, it's the lens you're viewing your whole self through. And this is the breakthrough to self-love, right? Releasing this toxic shame on the other side of that is an enormous amount of self-acceptance, which leads to a greater ability to have self-love. 